Hey lovelies, it's your girl from Create here bringing to you a brand new video. So in last week's video, I mentioned if any of you guys were interested in me doing a Swan Through the Ages video, it's where I show how Swan came to be and how she is now. You guys seem really receptive to that, so I made a video. Okay, only one person seek interest and that's all the validation I needed. So thank you to that one person who said, yeah, they would like that video. <laughs> I also made this video for the new person who said they want to see my sketching process. Um, I hate sketching on camera or when I'm being recorded because they put so much added pressure for no reason. Like I'm putting the pressure on myself, but when I sketch on camera, it just feels wrong. So that's why I do all the sketching offline. So for this one time and very rarely in the future, you guys will see me sketch in this for all of these generations of swan you see me my sketch phrase but not at all so swan was originally created for a class in sarah scribbles i believe i was really obsessed with her short comics back then i still read them now but not as religiously as i used to back then and sarah bless her heart decided to make a class on Skillshare and speaking about Skillshare today's sponsor is nobody <laughs> no Skillshare isn't Skillshare Skillshare isn't sponsoring me but if you want to Skillshare hey but anyhow I got my start like my drawing start was on Skillshare I'm not promoting them I'm just speaking the truth and Skillshare wasn't as big as it is now but I got a Skillshare and I took so many classes and that was the beginning of me. I learned so much about drawing on Skillshare and I took Sarah Scribble's class and she said in order to create a character or an avatar to make like mini comics with is to draw something familiar like take something from inspiration that you do in a daily life and when I created Swan I felt oh my god I'm, I'm copying Sarah because Sarah's character always have this stripe shoot it's like her staple and coincidentally a shirt I always wore in my daily life was a striped one it was a pink and black striped shirt it was an oversized shirt and it was always coming off one shoulder so I was like am I copying Sarah but no that's my shirt I have so many pictures that I'm not going to show you <laughs> of me wearing this shirt so I was like you know what I'm just gonna go with it and Swan was born she never had a fixed set of pants like if I go through all the drawings I've done of her the pants always change so I'm thinking about like in nowadays I'll have her wear shorts like a biker shorts and be so cool so that's what I drew her in 2d so this is just basically me drawing Swan in her original outfit in my style 2d this was around 2015 2016 2017 <laughs> yeah it was like so i created this character and at this time swan was just an avatar she wasn't a character on her own she's just an avatar and she's just meant to represent me she had no personality nothing that makes her swan i literally just named her swan because i suck at naming stuff if you look through my videos you see how bad i am at naming stuff <laughs> So I just took up all my creative juices just creating her as a character. So I was just, you know what, her name's Swan. It's my last name. It's my actual name, yes. If for those of you who don't know, Swan's my actual name. It's not my first name, it's my last name. It's my family's name, Swan. It's a cool last name. I love it. <laughs> and drawing Swan in this outfit. Also, my hair at that time was... A puff. I used to always have my hair in an afro puff. I had no idea what to do with my hair, so it was always an afro puff. And she came out so cute. A <laughs> okay, I told you guys is enough. But how do you guys like Swan in her original outfit? I think she looks adorable. <laughs> Okay, so in 2017, Swan got a makeover, and it's thanks to, you are not going to guess it, Jazza. Yes, 
Jaza came out with a Skillshare class. <laughs> I told you, I got my start in drawing from Skillshare. Again, I'm not promoting them. I'm just telling the truth. But Skillshare, call me. And he had a class about... Up, I can't remember what it is, but it was something to do with... I cannot remember what his original class is. I really don't. But it made me think a lot about rebrand because my old channel name used to be Swan Angel Creations, which is a mouthful. So I put it down to Swan Creates. He said to simplify and stuff. And in that process of going through that, I also redesigned Swan. And by that time I was in college, but when I created Swan, I was in college, but whatever. Or university here in Trinidad and Tobago. I was in university and I wore a lot of jackets because the AC was hot, then it's cold, it's yesterday. Like seriously, there will be days where it's warm, it's hot, and then days it's so freaking cold. So I always had to wear a jacket at that time. So Swan got an upgrade into wearing a jacket and I was wearing a lot of three-quarter pants at that time. So again, Swan had wearing a jacket with a three-quarter pants. And again, my hair was not Afro puff at that time. So Swan is just a reflection of me again. She's not her own person, but she started getting her own kind of personality. And in the original drawing of me doing Swan in this outfit, I learned how to draw digitally from Skillshare, yes, I know. But it wasn't through Photoshop, it was through Illustrator. So all of my original Swan <laughs> pictures of me is me drawing illustrator doing vector art and i can't remember the name of the person but it was where you learn how to draw a lily a lily flower in illustrator and i just ran with that i had to learn how to draw on the computer for a class and that was oh sorry that was the only course i could find at the time and it helped me so much it took me a while to migrate over to photoshop though which is my baby right now. And yeah, there's nothing much to say here except Swan just has a jacket and she's still in between being my avatar and being her own person. Yay! And apparently, just one year later, because I'm checking the receipts right now, I once again changed Swan's design. I just f finished completing Kesha's 100 Days of Drawing Challenge. I never did it ever again, but it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> and right after I finished that, I decided to draw Swan. Because when I drew out her jacket the first time, I just put yellow underneath because, you know, purple and yellow and I never knew what was underneath the shirt I never explored that she was just this yellow thing underneath the jacket so I just decided okay let me draw Swan without the jacket and apparently it was a crop top with a heart in the middle the heart just came out of nowhere okay don't, don't ask me it just happened hearts are my favorite shape so it kind of makes sense and I changed her pants from a three-quarter blue jeans dark blue jeans into a long pink pants yeah it was just so random i don't know why i even did that and this is where her iconic hairstyle came from because i cut my hair and colored it purple because purple is my favorite color <laughs> I still took away from Sarah Scribble's class from Skillshare that draw her, draw your character based off of real life, based off of you, because Swan is supposed to represent me. And by this time, Swan wasn't just my avatar anymore. She was her own 
character doing things I sure as hell would like to do but won't ever do she's super hyper fairy I, I love Swan I love her so much and you'll think she'll be my first OC no my first OC ever is Sharite and I don't know if I created Swan first or Moonlight first one thing I know Sharite is first and Leila is last okay <laughs> so I just don't know if I created Swan before or after Moonlight I don't know I should look in my records or just go through many sketchbooks to find out <laughs> and yeah this is Swan because of her iconic and even though my hair is back to being like my natural long well not long longish I could go back into an afro puff but it's mainly braids right now like it's just braids swan has kept the purple here which is really weird because her favorite color is yellow <laughs> but moonlight's favorite color is purple so maybe she's has purple here because she's obsessed with moonlight and moonlight has purple here so you know what that's the law now swan dyed her hair purple because she's obsessed with moonlight <laughs> okay so let me talk to the pose so right now swan isn't a twin it's just right at this moment she has two outfits i cannot choose from because i love them both which is her original yellow tank top with um, high-waisted pink pants versus her pink sweater with pink shorts that i drew just the other day love them both and you know what they can be for two different occasions because right now the world is so freaking hot like so hot you guys know when i created olivanda yeah, the clay sculpture that I made. Um, it's so hot that the hot glue gun I used to stick on his staff and tail keeps melting. Yeah, I didn't realize that was it. I think by the fourth time I'm realizing, yeah, this hot glue isn't working. And I realized, I think it's the heat. I'm not sure, but I got some ooh, -ooh glue. <laughs> bonus points if you know where that comes from <laughs> i guess i'm going to fix it but anyway i'm talking about swan right now so i'm really skeptical about doing this pose i'm like it's not gonna come out right i found a bunch of like i found three to four poses that have exactly the thing i want that i made like a hodgepodge i think early on in this sketch you'll see a hodgepodge of those different poses together to get what i want which is something I think I'm going to do from now on. I can never find the perfect pose. So why don't I just smash a bunch of different poses together to get what I want? I've been wasting time all this time. Oh my God. <laughs> so here I am going back to Swan for reference. And I am just like, why did I make their shoes so complicated? Like seriously, couldn't I just think a normal Converse sneakers? No, I had to make them extra cute which makes me realize i got a lot more comfortable or confident in drawing shoes because i used to like shy away from them or had to get like a lot of references but now i just drew this freehand you can see it but i'm proud it actually looks like shoes i'm so happy about it okay so that's me just talking about swan and i'll leave you to see the rest of the video bye <music>
was so much fun going through the evolution that is my girl swan she's a baby and it was like so proud of her to see her grow into her own person with even though she's not real but still i'm feeling like a proud mama thank you guys so much for watching this far if you've made it this far please put a heart emoji purple heart emoji down in the comments below and if you like this video hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you when i see you lovelies bye 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 also which version of swan is your favorite <laughs> okay bye <laughs>